Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to apply chain rule to find a derivative. To complete this problem, we'll identify inside and outside functions, take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function untouched, and then multiply our result by the derivative of the inside function. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to use chain rule to find y prime, or the derivative of y, if y is equal to cosine of the quantity 1 minus e to the 2x divided by the quantity 1 plus e to the 2x. When it comes to using chain rule to take the derivative, the first thing we need to do is identify an outside and an inside function. The outside function will be cosine of this entire inside quantity here, and the inside function will be literally what's inside this cosine function here. When it comes to using chain rule to take the derivative, we'll always take the derivative of the outside function first, leaving the inside function completely untouched as if we're ignoring it completely. And then after we've done that, we'll multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So let's just talk about what this is gonna look like. If we take the derivative of y, obviously we're gonna denote it as y prime, so y prime equals. You know that the derivative of the function cosine of x is negative sine of x, right? The derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x, right? Well, in this case, we have cosine of x, except that x here is this large inside function right here, 1 minus e to the 2x over 1 plus e to the 2x. Well, when we take the derivative of cosine of x, we get negative sine of x, and this inside function here, x, stays exactly the same when we take the derivative and we get negative sine of x. x here on the left-hand side is equal to x here on the right-hand side. It stays inside that function. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the derivative of cosine of the inside, and we're going to get negative sine of the inside, and our first step is just going to be to leave this alone completely, treating it just as if we were taking the derivative of cosine of x, and this here was nothing more complicated than x itself. So what we'll get is negative sine of this inside function. And for now, we'll just write it in there and treat it as if it were as simple as cosine of just x. So that is taking the derivative of the outside function. But chain rule tells us that whenever we have something more complicated than just x inside here, right? We're not just dealing with x, we're dealing with this function here. When we have something that's more complicated, we need to multiply the result we got when we took the derivative of the outside. We need to multiply that by the derivative of the inside. So now we need to multiply this answer we got over here by the derivative of 1 minus e to the 2 x over 1 plus e to the 2x. So we're going to be multiplying this by the derivative of 1 minus e to the 2x over 1 plus e to the 2x. So now it just becomes a matter of taking the derivative of this inside function here, which we'll do using quotient rule. So that's the other thing about chain rule. You often use it in combination with your other derivative rules, including product rule, quotient rule, power rule, all of those things. In this case, we're using it in conjunction with the quotient rule because our inside function happens to be a quotient. So if you'll recall from the quotient rule, what we do with the quotient rule is we take the derivative of the numerator. So in this case, the derivative of 1 minus e to the 2x. And in that case, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of negative e to the 2x is negative 2e to the 2x. So we have negative 2e to the 2x. We multiply this value by our denominator. So 1 plus e to the 2x. And this is all quotient rule. The derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus now the numerator, 1 minus e to the 2x, times the derivative of the denominator. Well, the derivative of the denominator, again, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of e to the 2x is 2e to the 2x. So now we have the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. This is our quotient rule formula in action. 
And then the denominator of our derivative is the denominator of our original function squared. So the denominator one plus e to the two x squared. And that's how we use quotient rule to find the derivative of this inside function. Now it's just a matter of simplifying, right? So we have negative sign of the quantity here, one minus e to the two x divided by one plus e to the two x. And we need to simplify the second part as much as we can. Well, notice that we have minus two e to the two x. We can factor that out, negative two e to the two x. And what we can multiply is, we can multiply that by one plus e to the two x, e to the two x. We factored out the negative sign here. We have a negative and a two e to the two x. So we basically factored out this negative sign and this value here. So what we get then is plus this one here minus e to the two x here in the numerator. That's all divided by our denominator still, one plus e to the two x squared. When we continue to simplify this numerator here, we'll need this part first. But when we continue to simplify the numerator, you can see that we'll get e to the two x and negative e to the two x to cancel. And we'll just be left with positive two here, which gives us a negative four e to the two x, all divided by the quantity one plus e to the two x squared. And of course we're multiplying by this here. So now we just need to bring all of this out in front. And what we'll see is that we get y prime is equal to, we'll get the negative signs here to cancel. These will go away. And we'll just be left with in front here, four e to the two x divided by the quantity one plus e to the two x squared times sine of our original function here, one minus e to the two x divided by one plus e to the two x. And that's it. That's how you use chain rule to take the derivative of this function, considering cosine as the outside function, and one minus e to the two x divided by one plus e to the two x, the inside function. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.